Good evening. For the first time, Daniel Kerr has opened up on his battle with alcohol and drugs. As you're about to see, the former West Coast Eagle admitted to using ice. In an exclusive interview with Nine News, he warned of the potency and spread of methamphetamine and says he's battling to get his life back. Oliver Peterson reports. Daniel Kerr admits he's been living dangerously, abusing alcohol and using meth. I have tried it and I have had a go at it and it's and it is uh, it's it's just the it is the it's it's the, I think it's a big it's a big call that it's the biggest risk on, on society and people's behaviour other than terrorism. That is the one drug that can brainwash you. It it, it brainwashes you into a, a mindset of negativity. It, you know, you just be around people that are hearing voices. It's it is as big a risk to society as anything out there. Now he's trying to step back from the edge. I realised that if I continue down that path, I'm just going to have nothing. You know, last time I was uh, partying, I looked around and I think I was the oldest person in the room by about 10 years. It was pretty, uh, pretty sad. Kerr spoke exclusively to Nine News during a visit to the remote community of Laverton, also battling drugs and alcohol. He's working to try to help Aboriginal communities by sharing his experiences, good and bad. The former Eagle says the meth time bomb is terrifying. The amount of it on the streets and the purity of it and, and the way it's ingested these days is, it's, getting, it's only progressing. Um, I'm not sure how to stop the use of it, I'm, but all I, all I do know is that it is, uh, it is the devil's own medicine. It seems the younger that people do it, the more the risks they are for you know, mental illness. And that's the biggest worry about it, the things that come along with it. I seen you on TV. Did you? Yeah. Yep, same here. The former runner-up in the Brownlow medal says his problem started with alcohol. My, my problem stems back to drinking too much and then once, once I drink too much, I'm pretty much up for anything. No, not really. Kerr's been dogged by controversy. He spent five nights behind bars after he tried to set fire to a house with two people inside. He says he learnt a tough lesson when his mother blocked bail. It was hard. I, got, I, got, I, got, I made bail and my mum kept me in there. So my mum rang all my friends and um, made sure that no, no one would come and bail me out. He's pleaded guilty and is now waiting to be sentenced and could be sent back to prison. He says only he can be blamed for his troubles. It's no one else's fault but my own. The Eagles couldn't have done more. My parents couldn't have given me a better upbringing. I, um, you know, I've been given every opportunity under the sun to do the right thing and I, I just got involved with the wrong crowd. <laughs> Kerr says his work with Indigenous Services Australia helping Aboriginal communities gives him hope of rebuilding his life. I've realised that me coming up here has it created a sense of positivity amongst, amongst the community. I've had a guts full of, uh, of myself really and it's, uh, it's time to change and um, you know I've got, I've got two girls at home you know I've got to be some sort of a role model to them. Kerr knows he has a battle on his hands and it's far from over. I have been in a, in, a, in a pretty dire predicament at times and, and, uh, and I'm out of that predicament at the minute and I, I tend to be out of that for good. <laughs> he started playing footy for Boulder, hoping to make the next chapter in his story a better one. Give me a little bit more time and we'll see how I go. Good game. Oliver Peterson, Nine News.